Good evening. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. It was hot today and more humid. We hit 95 degrees for the official high in Knoxville at McGee Tyson Airport. That's the hottest we've been so far this year, this summer, and not uh, too far away, just shy of a record high, 98 degrees, well, by three degrees, but still, that was set back in 1995. That will remain our average high, 88, hit 67 for the low this morning, two degrees below the average low of 69. Here's kind of the issue. It's been dry in Knoxville for the month of July. We only have a little over a half inch of rain. We have near Nearly a two inch deficit and we average over five inches. 5.08 is our monthly average over the last 30 years. It's our wettest month of year on average. So we could use some cooling rain showers. Well, let's talk about our chances. First of all, the five day high temperature trend staying hot of uh, mid 90s tomorrow, staying in the lower 90s for Friday through the weekend and kind of back in the low to mid 90s Monday. A hot upper level ridge will pretty much be in place. However, with the extra humidity, the dew point trend is upward in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So uh, as it gets uh, more humid, it's more muggy and uncomfortable. That's the trade off. It's going to be more uncomfortable with, with the humidity that will help to bring our higher rain chances back in the fold to go along with the heat and the humidity. We'll see an elevated 40 to 50% chance, a daily chance for those scattered showers and thunderstorms each afternoon and evening. So again, thanks to the humidity that will start to head our way. We were mainly dry, just a few isolated showers uh, this Wednesday in a few spots, maybe a few more of those isolated ones, a couple of those early this evening. Otherwise, a better chance for spotty to scattered storms later Thursday afternoon and evening, at least in the mountains, and some of that could slip into parts of the valley up on the plateau. Then we'll go back to quieter weather conditions by tomorrow night, and that same trend should continue as we get into your Friday. So here's the national view. Again, we do have that chance with that higher heat and humidity building for some spotty storms tomorrow and more scattered thunder showers on Friday. Now we'll see if this holds true. It looks like our future cast trying to develop a little bit of a boundary across the state and with some uh, high heat and uh, humidity around that may give us still a higher chance for the scattered thunder showers Friday afternoon and evening. We'll keep you updated on those chances going forward the rest of this week for tonight. A warmer night, mostly clear to partly cloudy this evening. 71 for the low hot and humid. Stay cool and keep hydrated 94 tomorrow. That chance for afternoon early evening storms scattered thunder showers. There's those elevated chances daily chance lower 90s Friday through Sunday hot to start next week and then a little bit cooler one week from now next Wednesday highs back down in the upper 80s with a better chance for showers and scattered storms.